So now let's see how we can work around with opacity and dimension inside a vector. So over here you can see that I got this particular tag and here on the top you can see opacity is an option. You can go around and decrease out the level of opacity or increase out the level of opacity as you can see right here. You can resize this out and place it wherever you want as well. So that is what you have. You can pull it out from the side as well as you can see but it distorts out the thing right here. But if you were to pull it out right here, then it remains like that. So over here on the bottom, you can see the dimension options. And if I were to go around and change this, use the scroll mouse button, you can see that it changes in size, but the width and height changes at the same time because they are locked. But if I were to unlock this right here by clicking on the lock button, then you can go around and pull it out from the side right here, just like this, or pull it out, pull the height out just like that as well. You can go around and press 500 right here and then it pulls it out just like that. You can also press 200 right here and it pulls it out from the side as well. So apart from that, there's the X position as you can see. You can go around, click and drag it out and place it around the position wherever you like. And apart from that, you can go around and change around the X position as you can see. You can go around and change around the Y position as well. So apart from that, you can also work around with the rotation. So for rotation, you can go around onto the corner area just above the point and you can see that you can go around and rotate this out right here. Rotate out the uh, shape just like this. And you can also go around and change around the angle of the rotation by using the scroll mouse button over here. If I were to go around and press minus 45, just like this, then you can see that it rotates out into 45 degrees just like that. So you can go around over here and place it out and then this is what you have. So now uh, let's see um, like how we can go around and place this. So you can see that you can go around and rotate it out, press 180 degrees and then you can see that it rotates out 180 degrees. So that is how you can work around with opacity and then uh, dimensions inside of a vector. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.